This is not about comparing yourself to somebody else. But the elite I'm talking about is simply this, the best version of you. And here's how you do it. That's the definition. Here's the pathway. Be better today than you were yesterday and better tomorrow than you were today. That's the pathway to elite. We all know it's really, really important. Why don't we build that kind of skill? Because we're stuck. Where? On the mountain of average. So exceptional results come from exceptional behavior. Exceptional behavior is driven, sustained, energized by exceptional culture. And exceptional culture is initiated and built by exceptional leadership. And it's challenging because leaders cannot believe for people. You build culture as a leader based on first what you practice, number two what you promote, and three what you permit. This is not just positional leadership. This is anybody. Literally anybody. Because at the end of the day, leadership is not authority based on a position you have been given. It is influence based on trust you've earned. And you see this all the time. We don't, in an average organization, there's tons of gossip. People don't talk to each other, they talk about each other. Aren't you glad that never happens in your organization? <laughs> Whereas in a truly great organization, we work together, I got an issue with you, it's uncomfortable, but we talk about it. Because how's culture built? Heart to heart, person to person, face to face. The most, the most heart to heart activity in an organization is culture building. And it's built in conversation. Avoiding difficult conversations, by the way, has become epidemic in organizations around this country. So let's not be confused about this thing called leadership. Leaders are people who have earned the right through their behavior for others to trust them. Not because of their position, but because of their behavior, number one. Number two, then they're going on a journey and they're taking people with them. And one of the things we teach in our factor is, to your point, is manage the R irrespective of situation. In fact, when the situation is difficult, that's when you must be on your best R-factor behavior. And that's hard. It's not natural. There's people in this room who are in a position of leadership and you're not on a journey. You're just doing a job. Doesn't make you a bad person. It just makes you a non-leader. And I'm just going to take the opportunity this morning to challenge you and try to be a catalyst, be a coach, and push you a little bit into the area of productive discomfort. Here's what I've found in millennials. They love this stuff. They love it. It's straight, it's simple, it challenges them, gives them a tool. And I ask this to young people, and this is a great success with high schoolers. What are your goals? I listen and I ask them, what do you want? What do you want to achieve? What, what kind of life do you want? Tell me what you want. And they don't always know, but, but they're really fascinated when a 64 year old wants to know. I want to know. And then I ask this question, do I have permission to help you get there? And I've never had a kid say no, ever. Not a football player, not a lacrosse player, not a swimmer, not a high schooler, not a junior hire, not a kid ever say no to me. What does the life you want require of you is, what the, is my message to kids. So if that's the life you want, awesome, awesome, there's a pathway to get it. And if you stay on path, you get that life. You don't stay on that path, you won't. That's how the world works. Don't just pause. And we say this all the time, we do go through this training. Press pause and use the system. What E do I have, what O do I want, and what's the R most likely to get me there? Those are the key questions and pause. You press pause and use the system. And the system forces you to be what? Intentional and purposeful. And, I, and if he were standing here, Urban would tell you this is his experience. Our factor, he uses it as much in his personal life as he does in Ohio State football. So what if you did this? What if on the way home from work, you use this system? And on the way home, you, before you went to the house, you number one, what? Press pause. For what reason? To gain clarity. And what are the three things? What O do I want at home tonight? What ease am I probably gonna get tonight? And what's the most disciplined of an R I can engage in given the reality of my home life? Number two, so you press pause. Now number two, that you know what to do. Now you gotta deal with your feelings. And do you feel like doing that? Well, I don't. I've had a hard day. I'm tired. Plus, this morning when I left, my spouse yelled at me inappropriately, unjustifiably, <laughs> for the fifth time on the same thing. Your emotions don't come from the situation. Your emotions come from how you talk to yourself about the situation. So the voice you choose, the voice you run, determines the mood you're in. You choose the voice. You get the mood. Number three, you what? Step up. And what I say step up is about what? When the... There are going to be moments that night. 
And, and whether you win or lose the moments is up to you. You're not going to win all of them, but just don't lose two in a row. Number four, adjust and adapt. It's home. It's not, it's not the workplace. It's home. Whether it's roommates or a spouse or a partner, whatever it is. So adjust and adapt. Five, make a difference. Give your family a great E by managing your R in a disciplined way. Your R is an E for your family. Make it great. And then six, there may be some things you need to do at home that you don't have talent or skill for. So what? Build the skill. Be intentional, on purpose, and skillful in how you manage the R. All six of these disciplines matter. There is no magic to E plus R equals O. It's skill, it's work, it's difficult. But if we get, do the reps, do the reps, do the reps, get good at those six things and apply them in any area of our personal or professional life, we will get better. Better today than yesterday, better tomorrow than I was today. Best version of me. You guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.